Medical science has detected many human diseases related to defective genes. This type of diseases are not curable by traditional methods like taking readily available medicines. Gene therapy is a potential method to either treat or cure genetic-related human illness. Human gene therapy was actually first realized in 1971 when the first recombinant DNA experiments were planned. It can be simply viewed as insertion pouring DNA into a patient's tissue that hoped to successfully eradicate the targeted diseases. It was actually inspired by the success of recombinant DNA technology which occurred over the last 20 years. Without a doubt, gene therapy is the most promising yet possibly unfavorable medical field being studied. The basic process. There are several approaches to gene therapy and these are the following. The first one is a replacement of mutated gene that causes disease with a healthy copy of gene. Inactivation of a mutated gene that is functioning improperly. And lastly, introducing a new gene into the body to help fight a disease. In general, a gene cannot be directly inserted into a human gene or cell. A gene is inserted into another gene using a carrier or vector. At present, the most common type of vectors are viruses that have been genetically changed to carry normal human DNA. Viruses have evolved in a way of encapsulating and transporting their genes to human cells in a pathogenic manner. Two types of gene. Number one is somatic gene therapy. It involves the manipulation of genes in cells that will be helpful to patients but not inherited to the next generation. Nim Sergeant, 1988. The strategy of somatic gene therapy is persuasively simple. The disease is caused by abnormal gene, DNA expression, so more generally, nucleic acid. Number two is germline gene therapy, which involves the genetic modification of germ cells or the origin cells that will pass the change on the next generation, your genome 2017. Germline gene therapy is when DNA is transferred into the cells that produce reproductive cells, eggs, or sperm in the body. This type of therapy allows for the correction of disease causing gene variants that are certain to be passed down from generation to generation. This is the additional of the two types of gene therapy. First is somatic gene therapy. This, is, this gene therapy is the transfer of a section of DNA to any cell of the body that doesn't produce sperm or eggs and, that, and doesn't get passed on the patient's child. While the germline gene therapy is transfer of, uh, no, of a section of DNA to cells that do produce eggs or sperm. With this type of gene therapy, the effects will be passed on to the patient child and other generations. The advantages of stem cell gene therapy. It discovered treatments or cures to diseases like cancers, spinal cord injuries, diabetes, and many more. Second, it provides medical benefits in the field of therapeutic cloning. And third is healthy, it can give you a healthy life. And also the disadvantages of stem cell gene therapies are first is additional biological complexity brought into system by leaving the cells. Second is sometimes it leads to mortality of individual. The third one is modified activity of the neighboring genes positively or negatively. The stem cell gene therapy is use of adult stem cell. It has transfection and transduction. The bioethics of gene therapy. There are ethical issues involving gene therapy. Some of the inquiries cited are genetics home reference 2017. How can good and bad uses of gene therapy be distinguished? Who decides which traits are normal and which constitute a disability or disorder? Will the high cost of gene therapy make available unto the wealthy? 
Could the whispered me of gene therapy make society less accepting of people who are different? Should people are allowed to use gene therapy that has basic human traits such as high intelligence or athletic ability? Germline gene therapy poses risk not only patients but also to future generations. Germline gene therapy raises difficult ethical questions related to tampering with human nature, enhancing human traits, parental control over children, discrimination, social justice, and eugenics. Gene therapy is a method that may treat or cure genetic-related human illness. There are two forms of gene therapy. One is somatic gene therapy, which involves the manipulation of genes in cells that will be helpful to the patient but not inherited to the next generation. The other is germline gene therapy, which involves the genetic modification of germ cells or the origin cells that will pass the change to the next generation. There are many ethical issues on gene therapy. Some of these are issue is uh, about questions on whose authority or power to decide which human traits should be altered. Other concerns are on the discriminatory effects of those who may not or cannot avail gene therapy.